Thank you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Francesco Festa Marzotto, and today uh, I will present my thesis entitled Testing the Biotic Resistance of Native Communities Against Non-Indigenous Species. This project was done together by the University of Pavia, and my pro survivors are uh, Jasmine Ferrario and Marco Tamburini. The aims for the thesis are three. The primary one is testing the biotic resistance against the non-indigenous species. And the two secondary ones are presence and abundance of mobile species. And the third one is comparison of analyzing methods. Uh, species in an area can be defined in three ways. Native, uh, the endemic species of the area. NIS, that are non-indigenous species, uh, species that for human-induced reasons have uh, reached the areas where they're not native, over the, the range of their natural expansion. And they're also called exotic uh, alien species, and they can become invasive when they cause uh, alteration or any type of impact in uh, the recipient region. Um, but why NIS are important and they're studied? In the recent years, they're starting to be seen as an environmental and economic threat. Then can be they can be a danger for the ecosystem, holding its characteristic. Then can uh, become invasive. Then can create eco economical problem because they are invasive and dangerous for the ecosystem. They can, for example, uh, destroy the food cycle. They can uh, uh, provide the habitat modification. So it's it's very important to understand uh, the effects on uh, the environment and uh, their relationship within uh, within species. Also species that were believed to be native could be NIS, could be actually any species. There was an example here in Italy of the Bryozoa Mazia verticillata, who was believed to be native uh, in the Gulf of Naples for years. And now actually it's identified as alien and it's from the Caribbean. And also these um, were like negative effects. Uh, a uh, positive effect that this can have can be an economical and population importance. For example, the uh, European muscle was uh, introduced uh, in the southern hemisphere of the world uh, and it, uh, it became important of uh, economical and population importance. What are the, uh, the vectors for this introduction? Uh, are shipping and boats, aquacultures and canals. The most important one is shipping and boats. As we know, nowadays boats can reach uh, uh, from one end to the other end of the world. So uh, the, the species are, for example, they are carried on the hull of the boat, on the bottom, uh, mainly sessile species, they attach to the substrate and they get carried on. Or for example, in the ballast waters, the waters that provide the, um, the boat with buoyancy and then, then released in the recipient reason. Aquaculture is another very important one uh, because if the aquaculture is not uh, managed in the right way, uh, some can uh, go out of the premises of the aquaculture and get uh, into the environment uncontrolled. And also canals, for example, here in the Mediterranean, we have the Suez Canal that connects the Mediterranean, uh, the Red Sea with the Mediterranean Sea. It's, uh, we call it the highway of um, of alien species, so species such as like fish, uh, mollusks, uh, crustaceans, they have a direct access to the Mediterranean basin. In fact, here uh, you can see a bit of the situation here in the Mediterranean, which is the most invaded sea of the world and also with the most boat traffic, of course. And the invasion started even before the uh, 900. And uh, uh, today we count around the 900 registered NIS, which means that could be even more due to the cryptogenic uh, uh, phase of the species. I mentioned earlier there was two species, the NIS and uh, the native species, but also there is a decryptogenic species, which is uh, the species that don't, the, the don't fall into the two categories because uh, his, um, uh, the nature, we don't know the nature, uh, such as the Brizon I was talking about. And here as well, uh, we are studying the, when we are counting the, the register, NIS, it could be mo much more than 900 register. And also there is an heterogeneous taxa spread across the basin. Um, in the East countries, such as Turkey, Lebanon, Israel, we have more fishes, we have more crustaceans coming directly from the Swiss Canal. And in uh, the West, such as Spain, France and Italy, we have uh, sessile species connected with boat traffic. 
The main focus of the thesis is testing the biotic resistance. Generally, the more diverse communities uh, mitigate the introduction of, of NIS. So what are we testing here is the uh, natural community biomass and the resistance and their role on reducing the success and the settlement and establishment of alien species. Uh, the effect of bio, bio, biodiversity is uh, based on the use of resources such as space, which is a very important uh, and limited resource and healthy communities should uh, as a hypothesis should stop uh, again the success and the settlement of alien species. But how we test this, how, how what's the our sampling method? It's the CERC protocol. It was first used by the Smithsonian Environmental Research Center, that's why CERC, um, in America. They used it for 30 years, uh, sampling the west and the east coast of the uh, United States. It's a cheap and reliable method and can be replicated by anyone. As you can see here, I put myself a photo I took uh, a couple of months ago when we were sampling. Uh, the structure is uh, formed by a PVC panel uh, who was sandpaper on the bottom to facilitate the recruitment of species and to mimic as well the uh, uh, recipient region of the NIS. And then uh, the, the brick was, was, was put uh, over it to keep it underwater and a rope attached to the to the substrate. And this method is started to be used in the Mediterranean, first by the University of Pavia, which I'm collaborating with. The timeline of the project, uh, the uh, 55 panels, as, uh, as I was just mentioned, were uh, placed in the water in May 2020. In August 2020, uh, all of them were taken out and photographed in order to do the analysis, comparison analysis of methods. And some of them were moved to, a, which was to, 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 to location I will explain now, and some of them were moved. And in October, uh, only 16 out of the 25 we placed in May were retrieved. This is due to probable people that cut the ropes or maybe error in tying the knots of the, of the rope. Uh, as I was mentioning, we choose to designate the area to conduct the study. Chioma, which is a small harbor, a natural harbor under some uh, Italian law protection, and is uh, and is used as a natural area. And Control, which is Lagos Marina. Lagos is a very important port uh, in Tuscany, in Italy, with a lot of boat traffic. And um, the third condition is transplant. Uh, transplant is the focus of the biotic resistance. So basically we put uh, some panels first in the natural area in Kioma, and then after two months, as I said earlier, we move them to Leghorn to see the colonization of the, the, uh, the panel. Here I put the photo of the two sites. As you can see, they are quite different. Uh, the uh, Legons Mar Marina, it's has a lot of boats and has high traffic and in general the area is very trafficked and Kioma is a very quiet and uh, natural place. Uh, here's where I'll put the history of our panels. 10 were deployed in Leghorn and 15 in Kioma. Some of them were lost. Then in August, uh, 14 out of uh, the 15 panels were, uh, seven, sorry, out of the 14 panels were transplanted into Leghorn. And at the end, in October, uh, after losing again, uh, more panels, we were left with uh, four that stayed all the time in Leghorn, six that started in Kioma and finished in Leghorn, and six that stayed in Kioma all the time. Uh, then uh, when I did the analysis, uh, basically we took uh, all the panels that we found and analyzed us through the microscope uh, with the 50 point count uh, method. And uh, the NIS found in the different, in the three different conditions were five in total, uh, not in single panel, but in total species, five in the marina, four in the transplant, and zero in Kioma. Um, here are the species found. I just put here to have an idea how many species we found with all the, um, with all the different panels in all the different conditions, and the highlighted ones are the, uh, the alien species. Uh, I put also the percentage cover and the average number of species. For example, in Kioma, we have a 4.5 average number of species per panel. In, in Legon we have a 19.25 and in the transplant 14. An average uh, number of uh, alien species inside the panels in Kioma was zero, 
in uh, in Legon was 3.5 and in the transplant was 183. You can already see a pattern here. Uh, with Kioma has the, uh, the lowest average number of NIS and species and uh, Legon with the highest both species and alien species. And I put also a bit of taxa cover to, to show uh, what taxa was found in these panels. Um, as a result, I created uh, um, two MDS, uh, one in August and one in October. The one uh, on the bottom is the August one, as you can see here. Uh, the marina, the Legons marina population is completely different, has no similarity with uh, the population from Kioma and the transplant that at uh, this time in August were the same population. And as you can see in October, that the population of the transplant shifted towards the population from the marina. And this is what the what we were looking for, to see the population shift, but not to get uh, similar to the marina one. As I mentioned earlier, uh, the transplant has uh, less species average uh, per pano and has less uh, alien species per pano. And that's what the biomass is about. We were looking for uh, the species of Kioma, the, the natural area, to reduce the success and the settlement of the um, species in the marina. We cannot uh, say for sure, We can, as you know, science isn't straightforward. You cannot say, yes, the biomass worked. We can just assume that uh, the number of species, and as you can see here and in the MDS, we can have a preliminary result and say biomass worked. But uh, for their studies, this was the first time here in this area with this type of uh, technique. So further studies are needed to, to continue this project. This is just a small drop and are needed to answer this question right. Here is put as well cluster analysis just to show better the, the, two, the two populations. Here in August, you can see that uh, uh, the marina is completely different, and in um, in August we have the, the distinction between the three conditions. The other focus was the method, the method comparison. As I mentioned earlier, the panels were analyzed through live analysis and uh, through microscope. But also when we took uh, in October and in um, August some photos, we managed to analyze the species through a software analysis on the computer. And I plotted them together to see if there is a similarity between the species found with one technique and to other the technique. And I found that uh, the technique of the photos is uh, is loses quality. In what sense that uh, the photos were not the best quality, and also um, some uh, microscopic species were very very difficult to. Uh, identified through the photos. So here you can see the triangles are the live one and the photos are the circle one. They are quite different populations. Yeah, uh, also, uh, we analyzed mobile species. This was a focus more on uh, sessile species, species that attach to the su substrate that we created. But sometimes uh, crustaceans or anelidae can, uh, can also uh, be found and present. Uh, in these panels, so we analyzed some of them, and only one uh, non-indigenous species was found, uh, which was the Parantura japonica, which is from uh, originally from Japan, and it was found in high number in the marina and in a couple of panels in the transplant. So another another step towards saying that uh, there was um, more alien species in uh, the marina. Uh, yeah, uh, to have a conclusion and a take home message, as I said earlier, uh, science isn't straightforward, so we can uh, we can just assume uh, that uh, biotic resistance worked for our project. Um, at the same time, it could be many things. For example, uh, the panels uh, stayed in, wa in the water only four months in total, and the transplant one, for example, stayed uh, uh, in one side two months, in another side two months. Maybe if we waited four, five, six months in the second conditions in Leghorn, the population of the transplant would be closer to uh, the population of the plant panels that stay in Leghorn all the time. That's why, uh, as I was saying earlier, it was needed to uh, to do other studies towards um, uh, towards this this scientific dilemma. 
And uh, and yeah, if, uh, photo ID is less reliable than live ID, but it's um, if uh, if the photos are taken the right way, uh, maybe it can be uh, can be interesting. Um, thank you very much for your attention. If you have any question, feel feel free to ask.